You're not from around here, are you? Ottawa is the capital of all Canada. All hail the Prince and Princess of Canada! Hail. Well, well, what have we here? A hero from the South? Not just anyone can pass the guard at the Great Border. You must have beaten the odds and obtained a passport. I am the Prince of Canada, and this is my lovely wife. <laughs> How can I help you? What's this? Hmm. Sorry, but I don't know what this says. I've seen this language before, but I believe it's only spoken in a specific part of Canada. I suggest you travel west of here and seek out the Earl of Winnipeg. He can tell you where in Canada they speak this freakish tongue. But I warn you, the wilderness of Canada is filled with dire wolves. You know what dire wolves are, right? They're like wolves, but they're dire. That was stinky. <laughs> Hold it right there! Here are your photos with the prince and princess. Would you like two 8x10s or six 5x7s? All right, there you go. You can exit right through there. Well, I, I would've picked the 5x7s. Ah, yes. This writing is definitely Canadian. But why should I help a foreigner when Winnipeg is completely overrun with dire bears? Tell you what, kill off all the dire bears in the north of town and I'll help you however I can. This poor citizen was killed by Dad, a dire you gotta bear. fight dire bears and you know not what me. a dire bear is, right? It's like a bear, but it's dire. You know what a dire bear is, right? By Jove, you've done it! Look at all these dire bear pelts! Now I can finally make a dire robe! All right, give me that document. Mm, yes. This is actually written in the language of Eastern Canadian. The Minister of Montreal can translate it. But I'm afraid the Prince has imprisoned the Minister of Montreal in the caverns of Quebec. I will speak with the Prince. Return to him and he should let you speak with the Minister. Boy, oh boy, I will have the most dire robe in all of Canada. There you are. I understand you wish me to release the Minister of Montreal. I'd like to help you, but I think this might be another ploy by the Bishop of Banff to have Montreal allowed back into the kingdom. Some Canadians think our nation should be united again, my lord. Shut up! Who the fuck are you? Listen, it's all because the Bishop of Banff is a liberal. He does these things just to make life difficult for me. I must ask you to perform another noble quest. Go to Banff and kill the bishop. <gasps> kill the bishop of Banff? Shh, you, shh. Kill the bishop of Banff for me and bring me his balls as proof. Do this and I shall allow you into the catacombs of Quebec. Make haste!
The prince thinks Canada is a monarchy. But there's other people with opinions, by God. What's this? Who the fuck hits a bishop? Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, you don't have to kill me. I'll go away and the prince will never know I'm alive. Please, take these dire pig testicles and tell the prince they're mine. Bless you, my son. It'll be our secret. Wow, good thing I saved these. <laughs> Poor dire pig. Is he dead? Did you kill him? Yay, the bishop's bars! Now religion won't interfere with government. How can we ever repay you? You said you would free the minister of Montreal, my lord. Sorry, no can do. With both the bishop and the minister taken care of, my throne is secure. But my liege, we made a promise. Shh, you. Shh. Quickly, you must speak with the Duke of Vancouver. He can help you get into the catacombs of Quebec. Give the Duke this. Hurry now. A letter from the princess? What the? Why, according to this, the prince had something to do with the bishop's murder and has imprisoned the minister unjustly. Young man, if you wish to brave the catacombs of Quebec, you would have to speak with the monks who live to the southeast of town. Only they could train you in such sorcery. Perhaps he is the American everyone is talking about, Terrence. Nah, it can't be. He can't be a master of spellcraft. He doesn't even know magic. He probably doesn't even know how to fart. What is the sound of one anus farting? <laughs> <laughs> now you know. <laughs> he knows dragon shout. Any magician's apprentice can dragon shout. It's not like he farted you on his hand on and hit you in the face with it, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> I'd take my drawers if I was you. What is the sound of one anus farting? <laughs> now you know. <laughs> if he's really good, how come he can't sneak a fart behind your fares? Sneaky Squeaker! Very impressive. He is worthy of our training after all. Yes. Prepare thyself, child. It is time for you to learn some true magic. <laughs> Your magic is impressive, young American. Not since Eric Von Thunderpants of Nova Scotia have we seen such prowess. But now, you must learn to control your anus muscles in just the right way to change a spell's frequency. Some objects seem too large to be damaged by magic, but now I will break through it with Nagasaki! Here, watch again! Now you try! Believe in yourself! These three pedophiles from Alberta will have their way with you unless you damage them all with one move. Nagasaki! <laughs> That's it! You have the power! You did it! Now go out and use your anus for the good of mankind. And don't ever, ever fart on a man's balls.
Je suis libre! Je suis libre! Oh! N'avez-vous besoin de quelque chose, Stradut? Ok! C'est là, c'est Stradut, passez là! C'est là, c'est Stradut, passez là! Voilà! Bonjour! Merci beaucoup! Do not despair, for many find Jesus only to lose him later. But the soul that does not abandon its search will surely be rewarded with his company. Remember that. Ready to go back? The girls are ready to see you. See, right here it says that five women were at the clinic that day. And right there it says Nancy Turner, 3.30 p.m. That's Heidi's mom! So Heidi Turner was the two-faced bitch! The evidence is irrefutable. Thanks, new kid. We now know it was Heidi Turner all along who was spreading the rumors. Freaking whore! Two-faced butt rag! Fuck Heidi Turner and her fucking two-faced ass! But Heidi's really sorry, so we're deciding to forgive her. I love you guys so much. We love you too, Heidi. Yay! 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 You served us well, new kid. So you have our services. Tell the boys we will play their game. Sparkle! Sunshine! and the Federation factions are standing by to fight as well, my lord. Then the time for talk is over. Let us all make haste to Clyde's house! Today, we are not elves and humans. Today, we fight as one! What we do here now will be written and sung about on YouTube for days to come! Hooray! Let us besiege the army of darkness with the courage of dragons! Let us delve their dungeon with swords and sorcery! Let us charge our shields and use photon torpedoes to vaporize the Klingons! Kevin, god damn it. Every fucking time, Kevin. God fucking damn it, seriously. I'm sorry. Armies of justice! Prepare! Ready! And... Let's meet up, Clad! Let's get him! Ow! I'm hit! They... they tore my costume! It worked really... Come on! Let's tear these jerks Yo, a new asshole! Yo, wait a second, man! Our Lord and Master calls for your head! Yes, sir! There you go, Al. Thanks. Here, I got this for you. No one can take the Dark Tower! <laughs> Charge! You take the tower from the inside. Me and the pirates are going to scale it from the outside. You're not getting past me. You jerk! 
jerks picked the wrong team! This is our key, fucker. Let's get inside! We are your darkest fear! <laughs> yeah, you should check me mud. You're dead. Let's see you hide from this! Jesus Christ! Let's see you hide from this! Clear the path! Yay! Fuck you! <laughs> oh, do you think you're hot Ooh. shit? Oh no! I'd check my drawers if I was you. Now's our only chance. Haha, -ha, you're trapped. I'm a level 14 thief and the Dark Lord's chief assassin, and you will all perish here and now. Douchebag, I'm stuck. Can you get me in? My three Nazi cow minions will take care of you. Salter <laughs> again, <laughs> I should have started this sooner. <laughs> All done. It's almost there. This shit even things up. <laughs> Douchebags! No. Use Nagasaki to let Ike in! Hey, no fair, guys. I can't let this thing go. Just hold on till I'm done. You're gonna get it, Craig, fucking traitor! 
You got mud on that one? Gross. <laughs> now let's see how you fare against the Dark Lord, Chief Assassin, and some cows. Fellas, we can work this out. I wanted to show mercy. Justice has been served on to you this day, Craig. Here, climb on up. Come on, we're almost to climb. Dad, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, it's my favorite kid. Listen, I found out what they were doing at the women's clinic. They were looking for a candidate to put a snook into. They're gonna nuke all of South Park. A snook? You boys don't understand. They've put the snook here. Who did? Whoever these people are claiming to be Taco Bell. We should have known. We should have known Taco Bell is far too compassionate and caring to be so secretive. The quality of their character, like the quality of their food, should have never come into question. Dad, where is the woman with the snook? They didn't put it in a woman. Well, all I remember was that there were these big government guys, and they wrestled me to the floor at my house. And then I remember thinking, well, this is fun, but wait, is that a thermonuclear device? I had some drinks, so putting a thermonuclear device up my ass wasn't completely out of the question. Oh, Jesus Christ, how long do I have? We don't know, Mr. Slave, but it could be a matter of minutes. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out! No! We can't just pull it out! Snooks have triggers on them! We have to abort it! From inside! Oh, come on! Who knows how to do abortions and can get really, really small? Hmm, who? Who could possibly be able to make themselves tiny and know something about abortions? Oh, hmm, let's see. Who could there be? Hmm. Oh, who could it be? I don't think. There's got to be someone. It seems like it'd be easy to find someone who could get small or could perform abortions, but both? Oh, look! He's all small! Wow, this kid is just full of surprises. Quick, get up there and disarm the snook! Hurry! Oh, be careful. I might have also put some bats up there the other night. Oh man, it's just, what's that smell? Is it me? New kid, you must find a way out of this place or you will surely die. The way behind you is blocked by the large sphincter. Make haste to the large intestine. All will be made clear to you then. Oh. That's just a spook. Oh shit. Dude, are we really gonna go up? Your word is the command, my lord. Sparky! Here, boy! All right, let's test it. Ooh, Jesus Christ! 
Nein! I am the Sparrow Prince. Like you, I was once used for pleasure as an anal plaything, and thus perished in this place. Now you must defeat my angry spirit in order to move forward. I know, I don't really sound that angry, but trust me, I am. Next! You have proven yourself in combat, young anal plaything. You may journey forth. Find the Snook's trigger and save the outside world. Fare thee met and fare thee well. Hey, is that Cartman's mom's? We can't get by, there's too much shit here. I didn't join the company for this. We've got our orders. Yeah, but how come we always get the shit jobs? Go clean out the barracks. Go round up civilians in their homes. Go up a gay man's butthole and guard against intruders. Fucking sucks. Armed guards? What are they doing here? Whoever seeks to blow up the city clearly doesn't want anyone stopping them. You must get past them, new kid. Go fuck them up. Dude, what'd you eat? Hello, new kid. I am Katata Fish. The trigger of the thermonuclear device lies before you. I have tried to solve its riddle, but I have been unable to disarm it. There are only moments to spare. Find a way to disengage the trigger, or all will be lost! Your word is the command, my lord. This calls for a little bardic exit. Snook abortion sequence initiated. Begin electrolytic infusion. Ah. Cold, so called danger. Abortion ac abortion access slit dilated. Initiate control chip removal. Wrong chip, wrong chip, ow.
not that. I needed that. Wrong ship. Raw self-destruction sequence aborted. <coughs> what is it, Mr. Slave? What are you feeling? Oh, Jesus! Jesus Christ! Great job, new kid. But your journey is not yet complete. Yes, but should we ever need your services again, we will call. <laughs> Great job. You've disarmed the snook. South Park is saved. Yes, now let's finish this, new kid. Let's beat Clyde once and for all and take back the stick of truth. If you ever want to go back in, just ask. Fools! You thought you could conquer the Fortress of Darkness! Clyde, back away from that stuff! Oh, but I have yet to complete my army! You have come to witness the power of darkness! Stop! Clyde! You have no idea what that stuff is! Yeah, huh, it's green sauce from Taco Bell. I took it from their construction site. Dude, that's not Taco Bell sauce. Then why'd I find it at the Taco Bell? It leaked out of a UFO, Clyde! It's toxic goo from another galaxy! Think about it! Since when does Taco Bell have a green sauce, dude? Actually, since about a year ago. What? Taco Bell has green sauce now. No way. They've had it longer than a year. I've always gotten spicy green burritos. Yeah, no, I'm saying in the packets. They just started putting green sauce in packets. The fuck? How the fuck did I miss this? Ha ha! I don't seem so foolish now, do I? That doesn't mean you have Taco Bell green sauce, dip fuck. Yeah, Clyde, why do you think that shit's glowing? Maybe because of the three varieties of chili peppers. Just give us a stick, asshole. Or what? You'll beat me up? Ha ha! I've got another surprise for you. I'm gonna make love to you, woman. Ah! Get him, Commander Douchebag! Let's all make sweet love. Hell. Hey, I raised you from the dead. You have to obey. Obey me! In high zoom! Ha 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 ha! Children, everybody, I'm back! Enough of this! The loot is your eons of torment are at an end, ruler of darkness. Uh, okay, um, you know what? I'm not playing anymore. You have broken the rules of the stick, and for that, I banish thee. I banish thee from space and space! We did it, dude! That was awesome. You did it. Your noble quest is at an end. And for all your deeds, and all your time put into this, I hereby promote you to King Douchebag. Congratulations! Quickly! Now let's get this stick back to safety, before anyone can do- We've got him! We've got the Dragonborn! Dragonborn? What the- Who- what? So, it really is the dragon one. Just can't stop being a thorn in our side, huh? He has to stick a truth. How does this guy know you, King Douchebag? King Douchebag? Is that what you told him your name was? Why didn't you tell them your real name, Dovahkiin? You don't remember, do you? How we tried to find you? Look, that stick belongs with the Fighters of Zaron. Give it back. Fighters of Zaron? Boys. What's going on here is much more complex than that. This isn't the first time a UFO has crashed to Earth. You see, in 1947, a UFO crashed in Roswell, New Mexico. Oh, God. Oh, brother, spare us. Hang on a sec. 
A UFO crashed in Roswell, and a new government agency was created to investigate the paranormal. Our agency. Can we skip this? Like, hit the skip button or something? Oh, you don't want to skip this. Yes, we do. Whenever aliens are spotted, vampires run amok, our agency is there, and we have never lost a fight. That is, until four years ago when we investigated a child. Yawn, yawn, yawn. A child who had an unnatural power inside him. I had orders from the president to secure the child so that we could harness his powers before our enemies could. But he slipped through our hands. The government wants the new kid for his farts? That's dumb. His farts? No! His amazing ability to make friends so quickly on any social network. Before he was five years old, he had 3.2 billion friends on Facebook alone. Do you have any idea the power that kind of gift yields in today's world? It's time to come with us, Dovahkiin. Time to stop resisting and use your gift for your country. Is he really still talking? Are we so different, you and I, Dovahkiin? Uh... You have to do what the government tells you to do, just like me. We're all just pawns in their game. I'll admit you are fascinating. You have more power than any child I've ever come across, and yet all you seem to really care about is this. It must be very important. What does it do? Whoever controls the stick controls the universe, dumbass. Yeah, stupid. Controls the... But then... I wouldn't have to do what I was told anymore. I could... <laughs> I control the universe! Get back! Back, I say, all of you! I can do anything! Anything I want! <laughs> I no longer need you, new kid! I control the universe! Ah! Aha! Ah! Ah! Damn thing! How does it work? Show me how it works! Yeah, right. Dovahkiin, why should we be on the opposite sides? Join me, Dovahkiin. Rule by my side. Rule. And you can have this all to yourself forever. I can offer you all! Just get me safely out of here! You can rule with this once again! You underestimated the character of the fighters of Zaron. What binds us is more than that relic. And you failed to recognize the character of our alliance. Yes, and that friendship is more important to any of us than even the stick of truth. Dude, where are you going? <laughs> Princess Kenny! At least one of you has some sense. You'd sell us all out? But why, Princess Kenny? Because Princess Kinney was born a half-orc, whose entire village was wiped out by humans and elves. Morgan Freeman? You see, when humans and elves lived together in the forest of Hollow Falls, an elven queen fell in love with the orc known as Dandar, the first one to possess the Stick of Truth. They loved in secret and had a child. A beautiful little girl, a girl who watched as everyone she loved was killed in cold blood. And that is why she waited and plotted, all this time, to take the stick from you. For Princess Kinney is true heir to the Stick of Truth. Wow, that's pretty cute. Just one thing, Morgan Freeman. How come every time something convoluted needs explaining, you show up? Because every time I show up and explain something, I earn a freckle. Ooh, 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 ooh. Princess Kinney, come back here! Good. <laughs> Welcome, weary adventurers! You know how before the big final boss fight of any game there's a conveniently placed shop where you can stock up on health potions and arrows and stuff? Well, this is that shop. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Give us a stick, Princess Kenny! You don't want to go down like this, bruh! Yes! Go, Princess Kinney! Break a leg, or whatever. Both legs. 
It's all over, Princess Kenny. Douchebag is too powerful for you. What's she doing? No, Kenny, don't drink that! Ah, Nazi zombie Princess Kitty! Fuck! <laughs> This is it, King Douchebag! The final battle! Your buddies stand with you! I would just stand over here. Use your rainbow attack, Princess Guinea! She's all in the fire! Oh my god! You killed Kenny! Yeah, I'll bet! Oh, no way he's back! She looks more dead than she was before! Kill her again! No! Where are you going with Princess Kenny's rat, Samuel? Now, I hope you fellas don't get angry, but, but I have to smite you. Whew, I better ca catch my breath. Death comes for you, Dragonborn. You'd better pray for a miracle. I think all the dying is making her tired. Keep killing her! Use your rainbow attack, Princess Kenny! Death comes for you, Dragonborn. You'd better pray for a miracle. Oh, hamburgers! <laughs> Foolish Princess Kenny. Do you not know that death is a servant of chaos? Ah! <laughs> She doesn't stay dead. We can't beat her. Till we're fucked. There's no way. There is one way. We're gonna have to break the gentleman's code. What? Carmen, you can't possibly mean. What other choice do we have, Cal? King Douchebag, you remember long ago, I made you swear an oath to never fart on anyone's buzz. I am now asking you to break that oath. He's right, it's our only chance. Fart on Princess Kenny's balls, King Douchebag! Do it! Now, King Douchebag, fart on Princess Kenny's balls! What about the gentleman's oath? The princess's magic, it's so pretty! Good work, Princess Kinney. Finish them off. What? We're back to normal. We're cured! We're all better now, Daddy. That's right, son. The Dragonborn must have farted on a princess's balls. You guys sure about this? There's no other way. It drove our friend to madness and nearly killed us all. So what do you guys want to play now? How about dinosaur hunters? Or pharaohs and mummies? Let's ask Douchebag. What do you want to play next, dude? Screw you guys. I'm going home. 
Wow, what a dick. You can have this body anytime you want, David Hasselhoff. Oh, look, you've made friends. I'll Go be your play friend with your new too, friends sweetie. today. It'll make you look popular. <laughs>